What is going on, my fine people? Fine line seventeen twenty one checking back in here to give you guys another dope video. Today we're going to be taking a look at an upcoming Air Jordan slated for release April nineteenth. Fine line seventeen twenty one dot com. If you want to pick your pair up early, they are shipping out right now. We're going to get this first look in, see if it's comparing to the OG, see if anything is different, see if anything got changed up. See, you know what I'm saying? Like, is this going to be worth the cop? So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into these boxes. All right. Now, taking a look at the boxes, you can clearly see that they come with pretty much the same reptile snakeskin um, type of texture to the boxes that is on the shoe you have an all black box silver jump man now let's take a look at the label of the shoe the one thing that you will notice is they don't have that um barcode or qr code that came like on the pairs from pretty much like the early release pairs out of china basically you know what i'm saying your uh counterfeit pairs the retail pairs do not have that qr code anywhere on the box all right now taking a look inside of the box lid it does come with your quality control stamp here or the lot number in which it was made right there in the back and then flipping open right here behind the shoes they do have that white and green sticker basically letting you know that this is a high quality product now let's go ahead man and uh get these shoes out of here and get on with the review all right here we have them the air jordan retro 11 low top snake skin the first thing that you will the first thing of note is your shoestring should come tied and tucked as you see here they do not come you know what i'm saying tied in the loop and just dropped inside of the shoe that's one thing that you want to pay attention to to see if you have a real or fake pair now taking a look inside of the shoe we can see that we have the cardboard insert is wrapped in paper. I'm going to be kind of gentle with this joint because, you know, this size 8 is on its way out of the door. So I want this customer to pretty much have that feel of, you know what I'm saying, getting a fresh DS pair. But I want you to see this little piece right here. It is just the cardboard sitting up underneath it, wrapped in paper. And I mean, this wrapping paper is... is tough like i mean it's a lot like it's not like that little one sheet and that you know what i'm saying it might just rip and tear like now nah, like they doubled this joint up a little bit so that's another thing of note to know if you have a retail pair or not all right now that we've gone over pretty much you know what i'm saying the determining factors of a retail pair versus a fake pair let's go ahead man and go over the details of the shoe check out the materials get a nice little 360 going on right here as you can see that blue reptile snake skin wraps around the whole shoe and also i'm noticing you know what i'm saying that these joints right here they don't seem to be like the og version because it's almost kind of like has this little texture uh, around it. Yeah, like it, it almost feels like a piece of fabric, like cotton or something that's wrapped on top of this snake skin. And also another thing of note on these joints, you do have leather on the upper instead of mesh. I'm not sure if the pair from 2000 or 2001 had the uh, ballistic mesh or leather or not. I know for a fact that uh, I know the leather on the low tops have just now started to be, you know, on retro 11s when they started to do the retros. Taking a look at the um, the Jumpman Jordan right here on the tongue, that third spacing is looking good. Taking a look at the inside, it's all black with a white Jumpman. I almost kind of got like a silver feel to it, but I highly doubt that. It's probably just white. Taking a look at the bottom here, you do have the icy blue bottom with the navy blue pods carbon fiber is feeling real smooth it's not textured as well on the other one it is kind of smooth you know but this carbon fiber can come in multiple ways now taking a look at this jump man back here i hate this jump man i wish jordan brand just leave this little ass jump man off because it almost makes every retro 11 low look fake 
because it's so smushed in. It just looks weird. Just leave the two, three and call it a day. Now here, I'm going to try to get a close up. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to zoom in and see if you guys can actually see exactly what I was referring to as far as this material that they placed on top of this snake skin. So uh, I'm going to try to get a little close up. You know what I'm saying? So you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. As you can see, it's kind of like real. It's like, a like I said, it's like some a detail, almost kind of like a fishnet just glued on top of it or something like that it's not just the plain patent leather snake skin now let's go ahead man and flip open this other shoe that i had sitting in the background this whole time we were reviewing a size eight this is a ten and a half uh right here pretty much a personal pair as you can see it does come with the same wrapping paper or tissue paper wrapped around the cardboard as well in this pair the shoelaces are tied and tucked the bottom of this one is kind of like a little bit icier than the size 8 that i just reviewed but like we all know retro 11s have their own type of quality control man everything is different it's as of right now just follow those key points that i mentioned earlier to determine if you have a real effect pair they might update it later but as of right now those are your key points well that about wraps it up for this video right here man please be sure to follow me on instagram follow me on twitter both handles are the same fine line 1721 if you want to pick these joints up head over to fine line 1721.com and until the next video you guys already know what to do be smooth enjoy life bless up